KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. The Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Thursday, the 8th of November. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather stays wet at least tomorrow morning. Then much colder air blows in here for the weekend. Even colder air next week for a real taste of winter. Here we go, the upper air pattern across the country this afternoon. Big broad trough over the United States, and we have a stalled surface boundary over South Alabama, and again today it's cloudy in most of the state. The bigger convective pockets are down in South Alabama, south of that stall front. You can see those convective bubbles on the satellite imagery. That was the radar. The northern half of the state, relatively quiet, just some patchy light rain. We'll have the chance of some rain at times tonight and tomorrow morning with the approach of a cold front from the north. The northern part of the state, pretty cool. It's 49 at Cullman, Birmingham, Anniston, Tuscaloosa at 60. But down to the south, Dothan at 80. Mobile at 73, south of that front. But again, look up north. St. Louis sitting at 40. And readings are way below freezing over the northern states. That's easily the coldest air so far this season. And that'll drive lows here near the freezing mark by Saturday and Sunday morning. Speaking of that, we have freeze watches and mornings all across the deep south. Uh, North Alabama will probably be under one soon. I got them for Tennessee, parts of North Georgia, North Mississippi, and that's for a Saturday morning. Now, we're expecting lows both Saturday and Sunday morning in the upper 20s and low to mid 30s around here. Most likely, you'll see a widespread frost by Sunday. There's the severe weather outlook for the rest of today and tonight, a marginal risk over parts of South and East Texas. And tomorrow, a marginal risk on the Atlantic coast from near Baltimore back up toward Long Island. Uh, we might hear some thunder here, but no severe weather expected. Rain for the next seven days. Obviously, the heavier totals for the east and the south, and Alabama amounts between one and three inches. And after the rain tomorrow morning, we'll see more rain Monday of next week. And the tropics, once again, very quiet. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow afternoon at 1. There's that big trough developing down below that, a surface front. Approaching from the north, being driven south by a 1,038 millibar high over the Dakotas. So a good chance of rain mainly during the morning. And again, temperatures go the wrong way. We start the day in the 50s. We'll fall into the 40s by afternoon with a strong north wind. Skies will clear tomorrow night. Saturday will be a bright sunny day, but a cold one. We start the day mostly in the low 30s. Uh, the NAM is showing 32 at Birmingham. Uh, many spots will see their first freeze of the season. Uh, the high will be only around 50, despite the sunshine. Sunday, again, we're going to be down around the freezing mark Sunday morning. A good chance we'll have a fairly widespread frost with a light wind. And then during the day, clouds will probably increase with the sky becoming cloudy. The high will be in the 50s, but I think the day will be dry. But Monday, here comes the rain with a wave in the Gulf of Mexico. That's going to be a pretty cold rain. We'll be in the upper 40s and low 50s all day. And yeah, look at the snow back in parts of Texas, the South Plains, the Panhandle. Let's go to Tuesday, deep surface low near Long Island in New Jersey. Surface front uh, blowing through, and it's going to be a cold, raw, windy day. Strong north winds. Uh, we might have a hard time getting out of the 30s. Uh, the GFS showing a high of 43. Uh, we'll see some rain, most likely Tuesday morning. And could there be a few few snowflakes? Yes, over the Tennessee Valley, perhaps, in the cold air advection, but nothing significant. Uh, oddly enough, there might be some accumulating snow up in uh, East Tennessee, Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, Knoxville, Bristol. The mountains of West Virginia will likely see some good snow from this on Tuesday. But, man, that's going to be a tough day. These are the anomalies, temperature anomalies, and the eastern two-thirds of the country, very cold. Wednesday, we clear out, and it's going to be cold in the morning. Now, we start the day down in the mid-20s, very close to record levels. The record low for Birmingham is 24, set in 1986. We'll be close to that. And the high Wednesday will be in the uh, upper 40s, most likely, despite the sun. And a week from today, Thursday the 15th, zonal flow. Cold in the morning, we go back in the 50s during the afternoon. 
Let's go out 10 days. This is Sunday, the 18th of November. Heights are coming up. A little trough to the west, but it's a dry air mass that looks cool and dry. Here are the numbers off the European. Showing a high of Saturday, Saturday of 47 despite a sunny sky. And again, I think of the two mornings, Sunday morning, probably the coldest. I think uh, many spots will see a freeze, if not Saturday, certainly Sunday. And then next week, look at those numbers come on down. The European showing a high of 41 on Wednesday with lows in the 20s both Wednesday and Thursday morning and then a slow warming trend. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. 